All right, this is for fifth grade ELA. How do you feel when you do something nice for someone else? It's a good feeling, isn't it? This is a book about a man who tries to make a difference in his own small world. It's called Alejandro's Gift, written by Richard E. Albert and illustrated by Sylvia Long. Let's find out what Alejandro did. Alejandro's small Abdob's house stood beside a lonely desert road. Beside the house stood a well and a windmill to pump water from the well. Water from Alejandro and for his own companion, a burrow. It was a lonely place, and Alejandro welcomed any who stopped by to refresh themselves at the well. But visitors were few, and after they left, Alejandro felt lonelier than before. So... What does this illustration tell you about desert life? What does it tell us? Do you see any lakes or streams? To more easily endure the lonely hours, Hollyandra planted a garden, a garden filled with carrots, beans, and large brown onions, tomatoes and corn, melon and squash, and yellow small red peppers. Most mornings found Alejandro tending the garden, watching it grow. These were two were times he cherished, and he often stayed for hours, working until driven indoors by the desert heat. The days went by, and one after another, with little change, until one morning, when there was an unexpected visitor. This visitor came not from the desert road, but from the desert itself. A ground squirrel crept from the underbrush, moving whirly over the sand. It hesitated and looked around. Alejandro passed, keeping very quietly as the squirrel approaches the garden. It ran up to one of the furrows, drank its well fill of water, and scampered away. After it left, Alejandro realized that for those few moments his loneliness had been all but forgotten. And because he felt less lonely, Alejandro found himself hoping the squirrel would come back again. So what else could make a person feel less lonely? The squirrel did come back again, come come again, from time to time bringing along small friends. Wood rats and pocket gophers, jackrabbits, kangaroo rats, pocket mice, birds too became aware of Alejandro's garden. Roadrunners, gillip woodpeckers, thrashers, cactus wrens, sage sparrows, morning doves, and others came in the evening to perch on the branch of a mosquito, mosquito bush, or to rest on the arms of a lone sakura before dropping down for a quick drink before nightfall. Occasionally, even an old desert tortoise could be seen flooding down the garden. Suddenly, Alejandro found that time was passing more quickly. He was rarely lonely. He had only a, to look up from his hoe or from wherever he might be at any moment to find a small friend nearby. For a while, this was all that mattered to Alejandro, but after a time, he wasn't so sure. He began asking himself if there was something more about, more important than just making himself less lonely. It took Alejandro little time to see there was. It began to realize that his tiny desert friends came to his garden not for company but for water, and he found himself thinking of the other animals in the desert. So the author says Alejandro has thought of something more important than just making himself less lonely. What do you think that more important thing could be? Animals like the coyote and the desert gray fox, the bobcats, the skunks, the badgers, the long-nosed co coyotes, the peccaries, the sometimes called juveniles, the short-tempered wild pigs of the desert, the antlered mule deer, the, the does, and the fawns. Finding enough water was not a problem. With his windmill and well, Alejandro could supply ample water for any of and all. Getting it to those who needed it was something else. The something else, Alejandro decided, was a desert water hole. Without delay, Alejandro started digging. It was tiring work, taking many days in the hot desert sun, but the thought of giving water to, to so many thirsty desert dwellers more than, more than made up for the drudgery. 
and when it was filled, Holly Hundra was pleased with the gift he had made for his desert friends. There was good reason to suppose it would it, it would take time for the larger animals to discover their new source of water. So Holly Hundra was patient. He went about his usual, feeding his burrow, tending the garden, doing countless other chores. Days passed and nothing happened. Still, Holly Hundra was confident, but the days turned to weeks and it was still quiet at the water hole. Why, Holly Hundra wondered, weren't they coming? Then what could he have done wrong? The absence of the desert folk might have remained a mystery at had Oliandra not come out of the house one morning when a skunk was in the clearing beyond the water hole. Seeing Hollyhandra, the skunk darted to safety in the underbrush. It suddenly became very clear why Hollyhandra's gift was being shunned. Hollyhandra couldn't believe he had been so thoughtless, but what was important now was to put things right as quickly as possible. So why do you think Hollyhandra has been thoughtless? What does that say about him? Water hole number two was built far from the house and screened by heavy desert growth. When it was filled and ready, Alejandro waited with mixed emotion. He was hopeful, yet he couldn't forget what had happened the first time. As it turned out, he was not disappointed. The animals of the desert did come, each as it made its own discovery. Because the water hole was now sheltered from the small adobe, Doby House in the desert road, the animals were no longer fearful. And although Alejandro could not see through the desert growth surrounding the water hole, he had ways of knowing it was no longer being shunned. By the twitter of birds gathering in the dust, by the rustling of mosquito, mosquito in the quiet desert every evening telling of the approach of a coyote, a badger, or maybe a desert fox, by the soft hoofbeats of a mule deer, or the unmistakable sound of a herd of procuries charging toward the water hole. And in these moments, when Holly Hunter sat quietly listening to the sound of his desert neighbors, he knew that, he, that the gift was not much of a gift that he had given, but a gift he had received. And then these are all the animals that came to his watering hole.